Jimmy, how goes it? Are you sleeping? Or did you just wake up? It's like two in the afternoon or something, isn't it? I was taking a nap. What do you want? What the fuck is this? Oh, you aren't being followed, are you? Jesus Christ, Dean. I thought we talked about you coming over here when you're on the clock. Relax, all right? I'm pretty sure that I lost it, okay? No one's following me. Relax. You're pretty sure? Oh, well, that's great. Yeah, I'm sure. It's pretty easy to lose them when you're carrying that thing around, right? Hey, listen, I'll have you know that this thing is our ticket out of this place, all right? Eh? Are you gonna elaborate on that, or...? I will, I'm like... All right, all right, so, like, you know how I've been doing jobs for this, like, Pierre guy? Well, he's got this thing for, like, unique packaging. So, you're saying that the mannequin... Loaded with cash! Or like something, like really valuable inside. I don't know, he didn't really say what, but whatever it is, Abby, it is worth a lot. How much is a lot? Enough for Pierre to offer me $500,000. 500? Mm -hmm. yep. Oh my god, Danny, I, I mean, that's. I know. Biggest score I've ever had since I started. Yeah. You know, only problem is, there was a little mix up at the pickup point, not gonna lie. Mission is a little compromised. But, you know, Abby, Abby, this is a safe place. We are safe here. I just need a safe place to say, just to lay low, just until I hear from Pierre. And how long is that gonna be? Yeah, you know, just, just, just a couple of days. No, 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 please, come on, no. please, just help your brother okay, out listen here, to me. You just can't, a little no, bit, please, listen, Abby, you can't keep coming keep, over come here on, I swear, I will no, never listen, come and I'm do this shit again, okay? I swear, Abby, Get out. I swear, this time, I, I will leave. really make leave. it worth your while, I promise, Abby, I promise. Remember that place upstate you've been thinking about? Well... Abby, this could be your ticket there. Come on, Abby. Just please help me out here. Come on, please. thing a little more out of sight. I have some space in my closet that we can use. And then you wouldn't have to keep such an eye on it. Eh, I think she's fine where she is. Plus Monique's too valuable to just be stuffed in a closet somewhere. Pierre's pretty picky about his packaging getting damaged. Monique? Yeah, um, there's a tag on the back of it that says Monique, so... You know, I figured, why not give her a name since she's going to be staying with us for a couple of days, you know? Right. So, um, what's new with you anyway? Have you seen anyone recently? Uh, not since high school. Really? I would think that girls would love the whole secret agent mafia man shtick. Yeah. Well, uh, why don't you try balancing your love life with organized crime and, uh, let me know how that works out for you. You know what? I might. Mm -hmm. Go that run. Have you seen the Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Like, I could have sworn Danny. that I had it right here last night. Like, Danny! Here it is, Jesus. Ridiculous. What? What the hell is that? The hell is what? In the living room. Oh, right. Well, you know, 
I was thinking about what I said a couple of days ago, you know, with her being damaged and all. And, you know, I did look at her and there were a few scruffs on her. So I figured, you know, like, why not make her look good for when we deliver her to Pierre, you know? Danny, that's like $200 worth of clothing. I mean, Abby, like, you don't know how picky Pierre can be. You're right, I don't know how picky Pierre can be. You know, I thought I would because it's been a couple of days, like you said, and guess what? We still have heard nothing. Jesus, nothing. Abby, chill, would you? Abby, I've been doing this for years. Just kind of chill. Just let me, just let me do my thing. I got this under control, all right? Yeah, yeah, fine, okay. Sorry. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just new to this, so, yeah. you know, I think. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna... Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, go clear your head. Take a shower, you know? I'm gonna run out. You know, I'm, I'm gonna grab some Taco Bell. Do you need anything? Oh, Jesus. She just doesn't get it. But she will. Come on, Monique. We got some business to take care of. Going out to meet some friends. There should be some pizza in the freezer if you want it. Still no word from Pierre? Okay. What do you have a fear of if you suffer from well, there's a mail on the table if you wouldn't mind opening it for me at some point. Understood why Pierre put you in danger for all these years. And for what? To hold his cash? He never treated you with any kind of respect. He just treated you like an object. But I'm different. I can. Danny. Abby! Oh my god, what are you doing home? Where's the rest? Did I say five? I could have sworn I said four. Four then, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. 400 then, where did 250 of that go then, Danny? Mm -hmm. 
I'm not really liking your tone. No, 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 no. I, I, am, I am genuinely curious, actually, because you obviously finished the job, right? I mean, otherwise, Pierre wouldn't have sent all this, right? But I thought that you said that he was picky about getting his precious packaging back, yeah? So? Speak! All right, Abby, I, I worked out a deal with Pierre, and, uh, you know, I, um, I, I bought Monique from him. Oh. Yeah, you Abby, 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 you gotta understand. Uh, who are we kidding? You don't need that. <laughs>